Today I'm at Blue Seas Fabrication here in Burlington, Washington, and we're here to check out the full install of a sea deck package on John Kaiser's Salt Patrol boat. The Salt Patrol is a very recognizable boat here in the Northwest. It's a 26 foot North River. John fishes all over the place. He's been a notable figure here in saltwater fishing for a long time. They're back in the boat in right now, but before we get going, I want to introduce you to Jeff Paxson, the GM here at Blue Seas Fabrication. Jeff, you got a lot of stuff going on here that's really cool uh, in regards to the Sea Deck product. Why don't you take it away from there and, and uh, show folks what you got going on here, buddy? Yeah, I'll just quickly go through um, a couple of the options we have. That's one of the biggest things with Sea Deck is that the, the possibilities are endless, we say. There's, there's tons of different color options. We've got all these different colors. We can special order material. Um, we bring in the, the material from um, Sea Deck in Florida. Then we've got our own CNC router here and, and the process of digitizing and doing custom templates on people's boats so we can do custom kits for people. So um, yeah, so we, we can turn around stuff really quickly. Uh, we've got high level of craftsmanship combined with some cool technology to get stuff done quickly and, and a really nice finished product. So we've got our um, HD material, which just is becoming more and more popular with Northwest fishermen. It's a little bit easier to clean, a little bit denser foam. Really durable, I noticed. Yeah, yeah so it's a little bit more heavy duty. Um, and that comes in black and gray. Um, and then we've got our traditional brush, like most people that see Sea Deck, this is kind of what they recognize as Sea Deck as a traditional brush material. A lot of times it's a teak. Um, one of the things to point out is every, a lot of people think that we can just do teak patterns. We can do all kinds of different stuff. We'll see a different type of pattern on John's bow. We've got logos we've engraved in there. We can even do um, laser etched logos in the surface. Yeah. So there's all kinds of stuff we can Endless do. Endless options. And you got the embossed here too, and then yep. all the different engraving options between the, the colors and the engraving and the different surface <laughs> textures and the thicknesses here. I mean, it's just, it's endless. It's a great product, extremely innovative. It's been around since about 2004, but it's just been in the last six, seven years you guys have been here. And really, you're seeing a lot more of this now here in the Northwest. Great product. Let's get going on this install. Sounds good. Yeah, just wanted to kind of show uh, one of the things we get a lot questions a lot on is if you're not in our area, if we don't service your area as far as templating and doing custom sea deck, how can you get it done? One of those things is we, we have this uh, clear mylar film. It's another way to do the template. So basically, we can send you a template kit. It's not very expensive. Um, it needs, all you need is a Sharpie, sheets of the Mylar, a knife or some scissors, and uh, fit it roughly on the boat, trace out the non-skid. If it's a gel coat boat, non-skid and edges of hatches and things like that. We've got some videos you can check out on how to do that. And, uh, and then you send that to us, we digitize it, create a kit, send you a proof, and then we'll fabricate it and ship it to you. So that's just another way to get it done. We are uh, showing off the the templating process here, we've got a ProLiner digitizer that we use to create a custom template of each boat that we do. Um, it's one of the things that we uh, really focus on is doing quality work. This allows us to do that. Basically, we plot out the edges of the deck, we plot out the uh, non-skid, all the hardware, and then this gets downloaded into our, our CAD system, and our, our CAD designer will create a kit that fits this boat off of this pattern. This is our rough template, and then it gets redrawn in, in Rhino CAD. We add all the elements, and then uh, it gets fabricated and, and installed on the boat. All right, so we're going to kind of walk through a little bit of the CAD process now. So basically, after the whole deck is scanned, what we've done with the ProLiner, we've got these are the, the raw files that we bring in here. So you've got a section of the deck that we're able to get here. And then Dylan, can you zoom out a little bit? We've got another section here. So these are all different parts of the deck there. And then scroll over there and zoom in on that. So this is all the, the different pieces kind of brought together. We brought the puzzle together here. We've got the top of the gunnels, the bolsters, the main deck. Yeah, so we go through different stages of drawing. We basically trace it. We offset the correct way on different parts of the hardware. Um, so we've got the different stages of the draw here. Keep going to the right, Dylan. We add the teak pattern or whatever pattern is being added to this one. This one's got kind of an angled um, deck pattern here. So we've got logos added here. Right, go ahead to the next stage. And then the final stage is we produce a color proof for the owner to take a look at. So basically this gets sent to, to an owner in an email as a PDF and they take a look at it and make sure everything's in the correct you know, place, that the pattern's correct, that all the pieces that they want are on there. So this is our final check before the parts actually get fabricated. Once we get approval, then we go to fabrication. All right, yeah, so now we're moving on to the, the CNC actual fabrication process. So it starts as a raw sheet of material. 
So this one's only a single color layer, so it's five millimeter thick uh, gray. So there's no bottom color. A lot of the stuff that we do is multi-layered, so it's got the two laminated colors together. So um, basically we've got a cutter tool that goes into the surface. We route the design into it first. The machine goes and does the design routing. It does the logos. And then at the end, it's gonna go around and cut out the actual parts from the, the backing. It's got a paper back on it and the adhesive back on it. So one of the questions we get a lot is, does the, the material come with an adhesive on it? It does, you don't have to like apply any type of adhesive to the boat. Okay, you got Kaiser's boat all wrapped up here. This 26 foot North River is, uh, it's looking pretty much brand new at this point with this whole sea deck package here. Yeah. Uh, this went remarkably fast, man, this whole install. And, and again, we screwed around with the cameras. We were doing all kinds of cutaways and stuff that really slowed the process down. I think if we wouldn't have been filming here, this would have been done by noon. Yep. Uh, started at about nine o'clock this morning. Yep. And uh, you guys did a lot of work in a short amount of time. How do folks get a hold of you guys here and, and maybe uh, get more information about this, this great product? Yeah, yeah, so the uh, best way to get a hold of us, honestly, go to our website, blueseasfab.com. Mm -hmm. um, we have a contact form on there. Yeah, you just fill that out, send it in to us. You can put pictures of your boat on there, some notes on the project, and we're pretty quick at getting back to people. And, and most jobs, we can give you a pretty good like ballpark estimate pretty quickly. Um, if we get into some details and figure that out, but we, you know, ask some questions and can usually come up with a pretty good ballpark estimate too. BlueSeasFab.com, you guys design, install, fabricate, you do everything right in-house here. Yep. Pretty great setup, man. We watched it all go down here today, up here in Burlington, Washington. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the way out. Have a great week.